Hello Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. This is Skeleton Key Tarot and this is a tarot card reading for Scorpio. All Scorpio placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Wherever you've got Scorpio in your chart or in your life, there's something in this message for you. And as always, cross watchers are welcome here too. So let's begin. Messages for Scorpio, please. Scorpio, this is a love reading today. All right. Wow. It looks like some kind of Capricorn, Cancer, Virgo, Leo, fire sign, air sign has their eye on you. And it looks like you are the ideal. You are just so feminine. All right. I'm talking to somebody who's very feminine or who's interested in somebody that's very feminine. The High Priestess, the Ten of Pentacles here. You may have Moon and Virgo or Virgo rising. But what it's telling me is something about you being so intelligent and there's a wisdom. It, your, your intelligence is very attractive to this person. The person who wants you so bad. There is this... Devil, Ace of Wands, Six of Wands, Leo, Capricorn type person, fire sign, who is just, they have so much strong desire for you. It's very physical, very animal, carnal, physical desire. Okay, they want you bad. They think you are just so attractive. You are like the ideal feminine or like, I just keep hearing like the feminine ideal. Okay, something about you is very, I would almost say conventionally attractive in the sense that everybody agrees that your type is like an ideal maybe you have like um some kind of internet social media presence and you take a lot of selfies you put a lot of video of yourself your face your your makeup there's something about your look that is very popular or you are very popular because of the way you look um you, you're you definitely carry yourself with grace and you're very alluring, very like mysterious and very fertile and maybe um, very wealthy as well. You may be, you might check a lot of people's boxes, okay? I'm talking to a Scorpio or somebody that you're dealing with who checks all the boxes. You're, you know, you're young, you're beautiful, you're wealthy. You've got a, a whole future ahead of you. You're very alluring, very wise and attractive and intelligent. And um, you're good with your style and you're, you've, you've got this look. You have a look. Am I on the right? Yeah. And it's like, you need to be really smart. And you need to have really strong boundaries because a lot of people are going to look at you and they're going to see you as, um, I, I hate to say it, but like as a target. Many predators, many good people, many bad people. I'm saying like there's a lot of eyes on you and some of them are evil. Some of them are not evil. Some of them are good. Obviously, there are good people in the world somewhere. I've been told, but there are also plenty of evil ones, right? And I think as a Scorpio, you are innately aware of this. You're intimately aware of this. You know this intuitively already. You have an extremely strong intuition. You have a wealth of inner beauty and outer beauty. But I think a lot of people only see the outside, which is normal. Honestly, it's normal. People judge by appearances all the time. That's how we evolved. Like, um, it, you know, it is what it is. Like, I don't blame people for doing that. And I wouldn't shame people for doing that. It just, it is what it is. And people only see one side of you. They don't see the depth of your emotions. And they think because you're young or because you are beautiful that you must be shallow or stupid. And I get it, but that's not true. And it's like, that's so insensitive of them. And it's really mean of them to say that about you or to think that about you just because, and I think you get a lot of negative comments and positive comments. Okay, but this is a love reading. So what's going on? Somebody is like really obsessively focused on you. They want you so bad. They want you for your wealth and your beauty and you're very mysterious. You're alluring um, and you're gorgeous. And like, I just think that they are so attracted to you. And you've got to put up this front of being very serious because you are very wealthy and you need to protect it. There's your financial success. So you have, okay, 
something new coming your way, hitting a new milestone. Ooh, somebody who's very serious about you and they're working their way towards you. This is somebody that's coming. Okay, you have a new relationship coming your way and it's kind of exciting actually. And somebody is very, very serious and intent and focused on being with you. And they want a one-on-one -on -one relationship. They want exclusivity. They want everything with you. They're coming towards you. Yeah. Oh boy. Wheel of Fortune. The Justice. The Empress. The Hermit. This is serious. Queen of Pentacles, the world. If this is what you want, then this is definitely who you want to do it with. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy, a lot of um, earth sign here, but I've also got Venus and Aries. I've got the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. This is like your intellectual equal. This is somebody who's, I just, they are so serious with the devil and the King of Swords. Air sign energy. This is somebody who's on your level the empress was there too didn't we mention the empress before empress energy is here i don't know it might have been in a different reading they want to make you their wife they want to snatch you right up they want to take you off the market before it's too late oh my god okay this person is very judgmental as well somebody is judgmental but they also want to like own you. They want to give you a house. They want to give you a home. They want to make you pregnant. <laughs> they want to give you babies. They want to give you everything. They want to take care of everything and like own you. I'm just telling you what I see. This person, okay, I feel like you are like 22, 23, 24. You're, you're young. You're beautiful. You're prime of femininity, okay? This person has their serious eye on you. They might be older. They see your worth. They see your intelligence. They're, they see your depth. They see your potential for a long term to make a house, a house, a home together. They want success. They are wealthy and you are beautiful. This is powerful. And um, the thing is though, is they, they want to know that you are serious and loyal to them as well. They want to know that you are going to be, they want a certain, they want you to be a certain role. They want a wife. They want a mother of their children. They want a partner in life and they want it now and they're very serious and they want you and they've got their eye on you and they think they need to scoop you up so that nobody else can have you they need to make sure that they get you off of the market that's i'm just saying i'm just i'm just the messenger this is what you want then this is who you want it with because they're gonna be they're gonna follow through they're gonna be victory success you know what i'm saying like this is kind of a big deal i see you getting married to this person i see it being very successful and abundant and serious like I keep hearing that word like I'm serious about you I'm totally serious and they're gonna prove it they are totally serious they are going to prove it you are exactly what they want they you are everything that they want I keep getting that like ideal feminine ideal I know 77% of my channel is self identified as women. I have the statistics I can show you. If I'm referring to most of you as women, it's because I'm channeling 77% women. But this is for everybody. So it's for men too. So this, you know, take it as it resonates. Reverse the roles if you need to. It's like you may be the man who's got their eye or maybe you're a woman who's got your eye on somebody who represents the feminine ideal or the masculine ideal for you, all right? This is a general reading. If you'd like more personal details, we can do a personal reading. You can email me. But this person is serious. They're hardworking, dedicated, reserved, but they're very intelligent. And they want to do this. And they, they want to take the leap. They want to make some big changes. They want to get married. They want to wife you up. They want you to be their wife. This could have Virgo in their chart especially. This is somebody who's quiet. They're very selective. And they're not, they're not kidding. They want to make you rich. They want to make you, like, they think you are so, um, like, yeah, look at that. They are so motivated by this love. They think that you are their person, that you are their, their soulmate, that you are their ideal partner. For whatever reason, you gave them that impression. And, uh, yeah, they are serious and s s just keep saying it over and over again. 
okay, yeah, like you could have Virgo or air sign in your chart. They think that you are their partner for life. They want to move on this. They want to make a move towards you. They want to move in together. It's, it's for real. They want to, yeah. Okay, so is that what I've got for you today, Scorpio? I think it is. I think that's what I've got for you today. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but it'll come out in the next reading, probably, if I did. Okay, that's what I've got for you today, uh, Scorpio. I hope this was helpful. I hope it was of service to you. If you enjoyed this and you'd like a personal reading, my email's in the description box below. You can email me. I'll let you know how it works. You let me know what you need. But in any case, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you in the next one, okay? Bye!